it's time to stop being delusional. But aren't we all maybe just a little bit here? I mean, I know that I am. I mean, what would the Song of Ice and Fire community do if Winds of Winter actually came out? Instead of the winds theories that we all love to obsess over, at least I do, we jump into a dream of spring theories and in however many years, eventually we'll complain about how an 80 year old man isn't writing enough to complete a dream of spring in a timely manner. But come on, are we still thinking that we're going to get a conclusion to a song of ice and fire? I've got significant doubts. Um, I don't believe this. I don't believe we're actually going to get a conclusion. But I guess it really just depends on how honest we really want to look at this. Let me ask you this question when you start to say stop being negative. If any other scenario like this played out in your life and we're over 12 years of waiting for something, would we still think it was going to happen? I mean, at what point in time do we have to admit maybe we're being a little delusional if we think this is going to happen? Like imagine that since the time A Dance, of Dragons, a Dance with Dragons was released, look at your life. Are you in the same job? If you are, are you in the same position? What car were you driving back then? How many relations ha relationships have you had since? If you're married, is it even like the same person you were with when a dance was released? So sometimes like you're going to see these videos pop up on YouTube or somewhere else of someone overanalyzing one of George R. R. Martin's posts on his not a blog post, right? So he met with a publisher, that's great, but it really doesn't mean much. Typically, when George has something noteworthy in terms of progress with his writing, he really does like to share that. I'm not the only person to say this. That's not what he's doing here, though. I don't know how many times George has to tell us that Winds of Winter is just not a priority for him before we'll actually start to believe him. Maybe we'll get it and maybe we won't. Let's assume generously that George is actually at, say, 75% completed with Winds. And let's pretend he didn't actually start writing it until a dance with dragon was a dance with dragons was released over 12 years ago which we all know that's not actually true he started writing wins long before that do your math we're still looking at three more years considering his progress if we're lucky now this video isn't to slander george or anything like that don't harass him on social media or anything crazy like that that's crazy don't be crazy but this is just a recommendation to kind of temper your expectations, to be realistic, and don't buy into these guys telling you anything contrary to the facts. George is not close to finishing the book. There's no evidence to suggest that he is. His schedule is only getting busier, and House of the Dragon Season 2 is coming out this year. Here's what we know, is that since Game of Thrones went on the air, the publicity toward George goes on to promote the TV shows, takes precedent, has not enhanced his ability to write, and because he only likes to write from the comfort of his home in New Mexico, I don't know why anyone would be optimistic that any progress will be done in 2024. So here's another thing to suggest. Don't expect wins in 2025 either. It's just not realistic. I think George has ran into some issues with the various plots taking place, say in like Slaver's Bay, and trying to work his way through a handful of primary characters that are kind of all wrapped up in the Essos plots, and getting these characters back to Westeros is kind of like overwhelming probably for him. I think what we're going to find if we even do get to the end of Winds of Winter, if that is ever actually released, George may have created an even more complex story that will be impossible to finish in A Dream of Spring. My hope is that maybe Winds can be split into two books, but I wouldn't count on that either. But I do think that would be maybe for the best to have something tangible in our hands to read. I think that would calm a lot of people down, but don't expect it. Look, I just wanted to share some thoughts here, and I don't think this is con a, like a controversial take, but occasionally I see someone's release of a blog or a video supposedly revealing how they know for sure when Winds will be completed or that it's already done, or something foolish like that. And I don't know about you guys, until Winds of Winter is actually in our hands, there is no reason to believe that it ever will be before then. My initial guess is never. But I don't like to get my hopes up. You all do what you want. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention.